Fourth down. Alabama will punt. Deep man for Georgia is Fred Lane. He's a junior. He's a speedster. He's a wide receiver. Georgia's in return posture. They don't show they're going. They're going after him, but not with oh, it. It is blocked. It is blocked. And into the end zone. And it is touchdown, Georgia. I don't believe it. Kelvin Ruff covers it. And I believe it was Terry Webster who blocked it. Unbelievable. How many times have we seen Georgia? The flag called the team running out on the That's field. Big, yeah, because of the celebration. 15-yard penalty on the kickoff. Listen to the crowd. 50 seconds to play. The Bulldogs block a punt get a touchdown Chief somebody on the Georgia defense came clean I don't know who busted the play it was Webster came clean I think it was number nine, uh, 60 might have been Henry Williams 90 60, Webster. The extra point is good. Crumley knocks it through at 16-13, Georgia. I think I was just kidding myself by saying Georgia might pull it out. They've done it so many times. But here again, a typical Georgia game. Fourth quarter. The man who made the play, though, Frank, listen, he is a red shirt freshman from Haines City, Florida. I wish we could see what happened, whether he came clean or whether they had a stunt. Georgia man, one, two, he, he's a reserve he, linebacker. And the kicker took three long steps, Keith, and he didn't get the ball high. A freshman kicker kicking in his first game. I don't know whether we can run that back again. He, yesterday, Keith, we talked about him being a step and a half kicker. He took a half a step with his right foot all yesterday and stepped with his left foot 86. Elvin Ruff. Elvin Ruff. The second one in. Let's, let's see which one, what happens on the play. The tackle block out and the left guard does not block it. The left guard busted the play. What a great episode, Keith. He left his feet, went out in front where the ball would be leaving the foot, and then number 86, Calvin Ruff pushes the ball in the end zone and recovers it for the touchdown. Well, mistake. First ball game, as we look at Ray Perkins must feel like the world has come down on him. Had the game won, a mistake in the foot kicking game. Let's establish the second man from the left in red. The third man from the left is the one that blocks it. And he just gets a piece of him. The second man from the left released out to block the end. The third man from the left offensively tried to block him and he didn't get enough of him to knock him off balance. The second man on the left of Alabama turned out to block the end, and I think that was the mistake because the end stayed in and blocked. Two men blocked one, leaving. Well, now Ruff pushed the ball in the end zone. Yes, and that's legal. Reached underneath and got it. Georgia's assessed 15 yards for the big celebration in the end zone, and the kickoff will come from the 25, and Bobby Humphrey, a speedster, is back there. So here's your kickoff by Crumley, and it's short with collision down there for Alabama, and it'll be down just short of the 30. Sean Lee came over as uh, Humphrey was uh, racing to get to the ball and simply couldn't get there, so Lee came across to pick it up, and they collided. Now Shula is 5 out of 8 for 67 yards of the ball game. He has no timeouts to work with. And he's got 50 seconds remaining to play in the game, and Georgia leads 16 to 13. And Shula has to work with three outstanding receivers in Bell, the junior college graduate, Richardson, 
and tight end Chandler. They line up now double to the top of the picture. The two wide receivers are together for the first time tonight. Richardson and Bell. Well it's not Richardson out there. It's someone else I think. I didn't see 21. I didn't recognize. It looked like he no, was. No he's number one. He's, uh, he's inside Bell. of Richardson. Good comes in motion, becomes the third wide man on the left side, and Shula throws it as far as he can for good, and it's too long. There. Now, Bell and Richardson are going to come back, and they will talk with 44 seconds remaining. It looked to me like that Bell was all by himself down the middle. Georgia was playing man for man. Brantley was covering good out of the backfield. Here's the person who blocked the kick, number 60, Webster. Red shirt freshman. Is he happy on a great one? He's Walter Mitty right now. And he certainly is. And you said that the kid at the beginning of the ball game, who would be the Walter Mitty today? He has to be it. Hula back, gets some pressure, steps away from it, throws the ball to the sidelines to Richardson, steps out of bounds, up at 45 for a first down. And you've got 36 seconds to play in the game. Alabama. Must keep in mind a tie, or obviously, is better than a defeat as Richardson pushes deep. Remember, the situation is such as Georgia is playing everything deep, forcing people, to, forcing the receivers up in front of them, gives Richardson a chance to catch it and step out of bounds. And they can tie it with a field goal. That's what I was Well, they take say. a tie right now. Yes, sure. they would take a tie. First down, all just short of the 45 of Alabama. Yelps, another speedster in there. Shula getting good protection, gets it away. Bell's in the middle, and he's down at the 30, and now they're within Van Tippen's range. And the clock stops for the first down. Alabama has a chance to get up on the ball, keep, get their play call. Shula is giving them the play, hurry up offense, telling everybody where to go. The clock will start as soon as the chains are set. Shula, 59 seconds. With no timeouts, Keith. Here's the blitz. Richardson breaks to the sidelines, has the ball, steps quickly out, inside the 20, out of bounds at the 17, first down Alabama. 20 yep. seconds. What poise Shula is showing. I think Georgia is giving a little bit too much cushion. They're giving the receiver 8 and 10 yards, and the situation is such they ought to be playing, I think, like they did early in the ball game, right up on top of them. Now, Keith, if Shula should get sacked, Somehow they're going to have to line up quickly and throw the ball out of bounds to stop the clock. We won't have time to get the field goal kicker in the ball game. They've got to be real careful here. I'd throw it in the end zone from here, wouldn't you? Yes, sir. He's open. Bell and it's touchdown, Alabama. What a great performance by Shula. It was a pick play. I'm not sure it was an illegal pick play. But the man covering Bell was blocked off by an Alabama player or one of his teammates. And he came perfectly clean, wide open down the middle. Georgia being in a blitz man-for-man -man coverage. Cuba shows the call. Incredible drive by the Alabama Crimson Tide as Mike Shula with no timeout. And the people who made the big catches for them were Greg Richardson, and Albert Bell, and Bell gets his second touchdown of the night. He caught four passes for 78 yards and two TDs, and Van Tiffen nails the extra point. And with 15 seconds to play in the ball game, it goes back the other way, 20 to 16. So what had been, at times, an almost boring college football game and its conservatism and its mistakes in the early season suddenly explodes here in the waning moments and the teams come up with remarkable efforts. Keith, let's watch Bell number one. It seemed to me that he, this man got screened off. Well, I couldn't see right there. The linebacker was covering him, and that is a mismatch. I'm not sure who that was covering him. It looked like it was a linebacker, 86. See who's covering Bell. Bell is lined up in left, goes in motion, and Georgia has to adjust their defense. Right there, number 16, Willis. Tried to collision him, and Bell escaped him. Had the ability to escape junior college right out of Kansas. Never played a varsity game. Had the credentials to be the outstanding receiver.